Mic test, mic test. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another fantastic episode of The Long Drive, brought to you by Toasted Toad Productions, where everything we create is what? True as Toasted Toads. I am your host, Richard Rawl, and where we last left off, we had just looted the holy hell out of a diner. And we also got the awesome apocalypse vehicle that we were wanting. So, that being said, without further ado, let's do further. <laughs> Last night's stream went on entirely too long. Um, <laughs> long. Way longer than I wanted it to. But I couldn't like just up and leave when three new viewers showed up. or two, Was it two or three new viewers showed up? So I had to entertain him. So I did, um, I spent about 15 or 20 minutes doing a few things off camera. Um, it's so basically what I did was I logged into the game and I organized our meet like I have it in my non-streaming world. And I am now short a basket because if you look over here, I have another basket of the leftover meat that I didn't have enough room for in there. And... Our wonderful friend Psycho has told us about this awesome trick where if you hold that in your hand and then drag it over here, you can click the reload button. So we're going to go ahead and consolidate our bullets. Oh, don't move. So that's empty. I wish that the game would program it to where that would like delete itself if it becomes empty. Um, this is a fantastic trick right here. This is this is a game changer. <laughs> In my um, non-streaming world, though, I don't use the pistol as much. Or um, what am, I, what am I talking about? My non-streaming world, I actually use the pistol um, instead of the. Where the hell is my pistol? Instead of the AK. Now, we're, I'm not going to sit here and do that with all of these AK mags, just because, I mean, they're so thin that a whole lot of them fit in the basket. We are, however, going to put this in its proper place in the glove box. <laughs> Let's see if we can rotate it and get you in there nice and gently. Perfect. That's for, you know, if we should, you know, happen to smack our face against the the good old windshield here, or the steering column. And in this, I was thinking about at work. Hmm. Perfect. You can't ask for a better placement than that. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Um, all right, so there's not going to be any music in this stream. I downloaded from YouTube a 12-hour... Um, here, let's go into quiet mode here. A 12-hour mix of just free access, royalty-free, no copyright music. Uh, the reason why I did that was because the Fallout 3 um, that I was playing, one of the, I think it's one or two of the songs, I guess, still have their... Uh, copyright um, is claimed so Twitch decided to automatically mute my feed for six minutes in one of the not the not last night's obviously but I think it was like two or three episodes ago so there's like a six minute um... why is my tire squeal squealing like that and this is a ridiculously loud engine in fact you know what I'm gonna do because I like to drive in this mode but I also like you guys to be able to hear me. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down just a little bit more. Let me put you down at about 46. That's a lot quieter. Actually, you know what? Let's go down just a little bit more. I mean, honestly, the only thing really in this game that you can hear is just the rabbits, and I'm tired of listening to them being louder than holy hell. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, worked the shift that's a mansion over there. Oh, I'm not going to go to it. We'll just save that one. We have plenty of fuel. Full tank. Oh, oh my goodness sakes. What in the world has happened to my game? Something is trying to spawn in. Oh, it's frozen. 
What happened? I shut the motor off. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. My game is frozen completely solid. Oh, it crashed. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, what the hell is trying to spawn in in my game? <laughs> All right, let's try that one again. Holy shit. If push comes to shove, like if... Because I'm at 700 kilometers just under. Um, and like I said, the seed that we're using is incredibly ridiculous like i don't i'm not a fan of the seed if my game is truly broken that thocking sound and that it's, it's like rabbits or something trying to spawn into the game because you guys saw in the distance there was nothing um if this saved game is truly broken then i will play my non-streaming world which is going to roll us back about 400 kilometers, but this is a stable version. We are using the same vehicle in this one as we are in the non-streaming. I just in my non-streaming one, I came upon another empty tanker, uh, but in the non-streaming one, I'm using the diesel motor, and I've got a whole bunch of diesel in the tank. So, like I said, if the game is truly broken, we're not. You know, the only thing we'll lose is you know a couple of hundred kilometers. All right, there we go. Good gravy. I wonder what the hell that was. Something in the distance trying to spawn in is the only thing I can think of. But I don't know what the hell it would be. Um, oh, I see a viewer. Welcome if you're just joining us. Feel free to talk in chat so I can see you. Um, do you, if you're just tuning in, you just missed a hellacious crash. Oh, hey, Tired Man, what's up, dude? The game, um, I, I don't know if it was rabbits trying to spawn in or what, but like a thousand things tried to spawn in all at once and the game crashed. <laughs> so I was just telling the, uh, the stream there that if this game, this save file is truly broken, then I'll just go back to, and I'll just switch it over to my non-streaming world, which will lose 400 kilometers, but... It's, we're using the same truck, just um, in my non-streaming one, I'm, I got diesel motor, uh, bus motor. And whereas this one, I'm using the V8 uh, gas motor. So, All right, so right around here was where it had that hellacious crash. And I don't see any buildings. Because usually the container ships with all those barrels, sometimes um, all those barrels... Oops, see, look, there it goes. There's a container ship or something right here. Whoa. Welcome, Toppy. <laughs> you came in at a very interesting time. My saved game is doing weird things. Oh, it knocked my vehicle back. What the hell is going on? Uh, this is our apocalypse truck. Um, we're rocking the V8... Um, Fury motor, and I've got gasoline in there, and something is trying to spawn in ahead of us, and it keeps knocking us back. So we're going to try this one more time, hopefully. It didn't crash this time, so that's a good thing. Oh. There's something right here. I tell you what, if it crashes again... I know, I love it. <laughs> I, was, I was just telling a uh, tired man, though, that if it's not a total disaster, my non-streaming world, I'm at just shy of 300 kilometers in the same truck. So I'm going to go around whatever the hell is going on here. Yeah, it looks like something's trying to spawn in. I'm thinking it's a container ship. I'll tell you what, let me try this. I'll do a hard save right here. And I'm going to reload from the hard save. Maybe that'll kick its ass. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good. I, I uh, worked my shift. I got off about an hour ago. Uh, came home. Stopped by my dad's house to steal some food. <laughs> they cook. <laughs> some 
chicken Alfredo. I ate the hell out of that. And then um, I did about 10 minutes of off-camera work, and then I rearranged some of my food in the truck. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Chill, chill. Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. Yeah, I organized my food. Okay. All right. Gentle, gentle. Oh. <laughs> it's like driving through a hurricane. <laughs> All right. I don't think it was anything from that mansion spawning in because that was that's been in before, you know, from the last save. That's still there, you know. I haven't been to it yet. All right. Now, can we go back to the road? That's half the fun of this game, is just trying to get around its bugs. <laughs> oh, get out of the road, rabbit. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. <laughs> oh, so you're on uh, Eastern Standard Time like me, Toppy. I'm in Virginia. My headset is staticky. Is that coming across to the stream? Or is it just me driving on grass? I think it must be just me driving on grass. There we go. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. We're going to delete this save. And we're going to hard save over that. Okay. Now that that whatever the holy hell it was that loaded in is now loaded, hopefully. <laughs> I think it was just the grass. And this truck takes up the entire road. Ah, the V8 motor seems to be handling pretty good in this. I've got the pedal to the metal, and it seems to be topping out at 110, 120-ish. But then again, I don't have a full tanker of fuel either. I've only got like 300 liters in the um, in the old tank back there. Plus the extra one um, 150... Was it oil I've got? What the hell do I have? Oh yeah, I got the oil and water here on the side. So yeah, it's a pretty heavy truck so far, but it's not as heavy as it's going to get. I don't see anything new. I don't see any buildings. Hmm. Weird. Oh, so since you're new, Toppy, I'll introduce you to everybody. I'm Richard. With me is Paco. We have Bob hanging out right here, and Samantha. Those were named by my friend Jedi Girl. Oh, fuck. I look away for two seconds. All right, why am I leaning? Why is my truck leaning? Oh, because I lost a tire. Oh, shit, here it is. I lost the hubcap, too. All right, fuck it. I gotta pick up some spare tires. Okay, so if all we lost was one tire and a couple of hubcaps, I'll call that a six. Or did I not put the? I'm an idiot. I'm thinking of my single player or non-streaming world. I have four hubcaps on this truck in the in the non-streaming one. This one I didn't have any to begin with. Oh my! Look at my blood. Gross. You know, and I just got done putting the sponge in here too. Or maybe I hadn't done that yet before I reloaded the save. <laughs> I don't remember everything I've done. Uh, equip. There we go. Wipey, wipey. Okay. There we go. Get back in the... Oh, oh, oops. Alright, you know what? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see if I can make it in there. Ah, I was close. Come on. Get the hell in there. There you go. And we'll pick you up. And we'll drop you off right there. Sweet. Okay, so we didn't really lose anything. Alright. And we're going to nommy nom. And drinky drink. Drinky drink. There you go. 
<laughs> so yeah, okay, there anyway. So Samantha and Bob were named by my friend Jedi Girl. I think somebody left. Um, ba- uh, Paco here is my dog. He always comes with me. And we have the letter from Mom. All right, let's carry on here. I look away for two seconds and boom! <laughs> uh, we seem to be going west still, so that's good. This motor needs one more gear. Like, I feel like I need to shift into fifth to get the RPMs down. But, other than that, she's going pretty smooth. I can't wait to try her out on a hill. What the hell's going on here? Don't run on the road. Alright, we've got a POI coming up. Let's see what kind of fun stuff we can find there. Oof. 140. Truck seems to handle pretty good at 140. That's not bad. If I can get it back on the road. There we go. Yeah, that 120, 140 uh, kilometer per hour mark, you don't want to do a whole lot of quick maneuvering. <laughs> it ends in disastery. Now let's save gas since we're on a flat spot and we're going at speed. And truth be told, I'm liking the bus engine uh, one better. I'm actually kind of irked that my game didn't die to such an effect that I had to switch it over to my non-streaming world. The seed for my non-streaming world is like a diner paradise. There's a diner like every other POI. Well, I thought I saw a building coming up. Whereas this seed is just abysmal. I'm sorry. I've had I have I've never found a more unlucky seed in regards to loot and vehicle spawns. All right. That looks like a house. Hmm. It looks like a house and then it looks like a Is that a Gus's gas coming up? Time for looting! Oh shit. Oh shit. Maybe that Gus's gas. Look at that. Oh, that's that over there. I was going to say maybe it was a rock, but no, Gus's gas is over that way. We are going to go check out this house, though. Oh god, this truck hates turning. There we go. All right, so the road is at the 21 marker on the compass. So for whomever it was that asked yesterday if the compass is useful, it's very useful. <laughs> All right, we got Bun Bun over there. And let's kill the inhabitants of this house. Or I should say unalive them. What you looking at? You looking at that window? Anybody cool up there? I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> he was staring up here so fascinated, like, ooh, look, bats. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, that's who I'm hearing. Let's stick that parkour. Get that parkour. Oh, there we go. And we have a lot of motor. Uh, fresh radio. Flashlight. Some ground sausage. And a bat. Okay, nothing, nothing to write home about. 
Like these houses kind of suck, actually. I mean, occasionally you might find a, a cool, like, emergency vehicle. Like, if you're stuck walking, you might find one that's in moderately good shape. This is the glass divider for a, a Barkus van. So, if your Barkus is one of the ones that's got the solid divider, you can actually pull that thing off and swap it out. Ugly ass. And where's that second room? I think it's off the front. Yeah, here it is. Alright, jump. And there's usually nothing. I've never found anything good in this little room right here. Alright, let's keep going. That was fun. Anything in the, in the wishing well? Little Timmy? Are you stuck down here? Wishing well, kiss and tell. All right. Enough of that. Oh, no, I do have... Oh, I did lose a headlight. Son of a bitch. All right, we'll replace that shortly. Yeah, we can still see everything, so that's fine. Damn, I can't believe I didn't notice that headlight missing when I cleaned up the wreck. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find one at the Gus's gas. Now look, this is going to be like the third one of these I've looked at. Like, by all rights, like by all vi like RPG and video game logic, there should be something here. Nothing. Nothing. All the graves in Seven Days to Die. Um, you can open like every single grave and pick up a little bit of loot. Shut up, rabbit. Put our shovel away. Uh, that's either a ship or... I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's a ship. Which we're going to actually stop at. Since we are using gasoline, I want this whole tanker full of gasoline. Quench my thirst with gasoline. A little bit of Metallica for you. I'll refrain from singing. I'm sorry. I'm not talented at it. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I... Now we got the fucking song in my head. Great. I wonder if I can get a copyright infringement if I personally sing. Like, oh, you're not allowed to sing that. Somebody else owns it. I don't give a shit. Alright, let's... You know, the V8 motor sounds way better in that big truck than it does the Fury. Like, the Fury's got that grinding gear sound. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There he is. Shut up. Man, it kind of scared me a little bit. All right. I can't tell what's in that. We are going to eat some of this ground bacon, though. There we go. Uh, that is a beetle motor and a gas tank of diesel. Handy if I had a diesel vehicle. Eh, this POI sucks. I'll pee on it real quick. Is that enough poop to poop? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, roached out bicycle, number one trophy, and a smidge of gas. There we go. All right, let's move on. I'm going to have music uh, on the next stream. I downloaded a 12-hour long, royalty-free, just road music. Instrumental only, I think, uh, from a little bit of it that I sampled. 
downloaded it on my phone and ran it through the compression algorithm. So it made this gigantic 600 megabyte file into like 50 megabytes. So I'm going to dump it in the game's files and uh, play it on the radio. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because like two or three videos ago, it muted like eight minutes of my stream because of uh, that Fallout music. A couple of songs I think are still copyrighted. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, see, when I play um, non-stream, then I've got... If you if you ever saw my setup, I've got the laptop right in the center of the table. To the right of me is the secondary monitor attached to the laptop, which is what I'm rocking Twitch uh, Studio on right now. And to the left of me is a third monitor that's got my Roku on it. So usually when I'm playing non-stream, I'm watching, like, Netflix on the other side. I need to get a big TV, though. Like, a bigger TV than this piece of shit Sansui brand monitor that I got at the pawn shop for 20 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, starting over from scratch after getting out of a really bad relationship with somebody who owned all the furniture in the home isn't fun, especially at my age. But the uh, the alternative is to live with an insane person who is on drugs. Like, I came home from work one day and I found fucking meth in, in the house. It was like a baggie of... It was either crystal meth or crack. I don't know what. It went down the toilet. And the ex came at me with a knife, um, smashed my gaming desktop all the holy hell. So I left. Like, I just pretty much got my clothes and lived in my car for two weeks. Wasn't fun. Yeah, a little rough. That's fine. Actually, I stayed at my dad's house for a couple of months. He's, uh, my, my father's an old guy, and he's, uh, not doing so good. He had a heart attack, uh, a couple weeks ago, um, not really a true card like not really true cardiac arrest but he had like a lot of fluid built up in his lungs and uh he had to be rushed to the hospital while in north carolina like on a load um yeah so i was staying um at his house his landlord sold his house to a property management company and they promptly jacked the rent up like 300 dollars. so it's pretty much just helping offset that but uh, sometimes you just got to be able to close your own door, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. Oh, he's fine, too. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's been in and out of the doctor's offices for the last couple of weeks trying to get clearance to go back to work, which nobody's going to give him. He's got high blood pressure, and now he's got um, congenitive heart failure on top of that. So I think he's pretty much done with, with work. So he's got his disability coming in now, and it ain't, it ain't enough. And he actually called me yesterday. I felt really bad for him, and he's just upset that I, I moved out. And I said, look, I mean, I'm sorry, but in, you know, you, you, he's got this woman living in there and, like, all her kids and her grandkids and then even her great-grandkids are always around. My room, like, the house is old, so the, the room that I was occupying, the walls are paper thin, so it was impossible to stream because then the whole house will hear me. I don't see anything in here worth getting. Ooh la la. Uh, nope. Anything on the roof? Whoa, too tall. Ah, oh, good. Well, I needed a basket. Yeah, like I, I had my own room. It's just everyone was always there. And then the other, the other problem too is like I hate people knocking on my door. Like, oh, will you go to the store and blah blah blah. blah. I'm like, dude, I'm busy. Where did that damn basket go? <laughs> Where the hell did that black basket go off to? Oh, there it is. I see it. <clears throat> Can I get it? Oh, I don't think I'll be able to reach it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Come on, brah. Don't do me like that, brah. All right. You out. There we go. Oh, shit. Now I'm stuck. All right. I'll go this way. Help, I'm stuck in my truck. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, no, I mean, like, so I just said, I'm sorry, I can't, like, I really want to help, but I think if you want better help, then you would make everybody in your home actually get jobs. Because, like, nobody he lives with works. 
And I'm like, dude, I can't be the only one in the household with a full-time job. I just can't, I can't do it. All right, wait a minute. You move. There you go. You drop down. You There you go. And then, sweet. There, now this has a home. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Everybody okay up here? Everybody happy? All right, good. Paco, how you doing? Yeah, look at him. All right, so I got a ship coming up. I'm just glad the game hasn't done that glitch thing again. Holy crap. But I would love to know what it was trying to load in that caused such a fuss. I'll be totally honest, I'm not happy with this engine. I found the bus engine to be faster, quieter. But I do think it burns up more fuel than this thing does. I don't know. I'm going to have to look up the wiki stats on this motor and the bus motor and compare them and see if I'm getting better gas mileage for the torque out of the gas V8 or if um, you get better gas mileage for the torque out of the bus diesel. Looks like we got a big-ass mountain coming up. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be the test. Now, if this test fails and I can't get this truck up o over that hill, it's actually kind of disastrous because I don't have a bus motor. Whoa, big lag spike. Lag spike. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? I think I didn't hit anything. Yeah, I know. That thing was massive lag spike. And the sad part about it is it only happens on this seat. The, the non-streaming world, it runs flawlessly. Oh, what the hell is going on? But yeah, no, what I was saying is that we don't have a bus motor, and we're packing pounds and pounds and pounds of regular gasoline on the back here. So <laughs> if we can't make it up a hill, we're kind of screwed. I know, it's strange. it's funky, isn't it? I mean, it's fun. It's it, it's amazingly fun to play this. But this isn't going to be the only, like, journey we do. I'm going to do the 6K. Like, I'm going to go out to the end and turn around and come back. And then we're going to start a new game um, on the other seed, the one that, that I'm playing, the non-streaming one. But the first POI I come to, which is the diner, we're going to cheese my favorite car into the game. I'm going to do that off camera. It's going to be the um, Volkswagen Beetle solid black with chrome, black leather interior, and black convertible. It's going to take me about two hours to get that vehicle to spawn in because it's kind of a rare one. But that's going to be the vehicle. We're going to do the same journey, minimalistic mode. That's going to be the challenge is can I make it 6K? with a car that can't fit anything in it. <laughs> All right, looks like we're, uh, yeah, this thing spawned in almost right on the middle of the road so I can safely visit it without getting lost. We're just going to skip that gas station. Fuck that gas station. There won't be anything worth getting in there anyway. However, this one might have a bunch of barrels of gasohol for us. Well, that thing spawned right on the road, didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's make sure we don't have any Peter Cottontails coming up to bite us in the rear end. 
I was um, before I started the stream. I was organizing all that meat, and I was crouched down like this, getting the stuff packed in. And I happened to look up, and a rabbit charged me, hit my body, bounced off of it, and died. And it didn't do any damage to me. This is the weirdest thing. Hey, look, you can see the lines on the road <laughs> with the ship right there. Uh, full of empty. Full of empty. Yes. Oh, gas. 15 liters. And I sneeze more gas than that. All right. Empty. Empty. Oil. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know though. I mean, like it's th this game to me is like kind of innovative. There, th this isn't similar to anything else I've ever played, with the exception of maybe Raft. Raft is like this, but Raft is really grindy, and that damn shark. All right, gas oil mixture. Was that that gas oil? Yeah, it was. All right, so here's where we left off. Uh, more gas oil. Uh, alcohol. Uh, diesel oil. We don't need diesel. However, if we can't make it up that hill, I can do a U-turn and then come back um, and pick up diesel. The only thing is, is I don't know where the hell I'm going to get a bus engine from. Unless one will spawn between here and that. That mountain range actually has me kind of nervous. I think the motor should be able to pull it. I know a Fury can get up that thing pretty easily, but this truck weighs a lot more than the Fury does, I think. I'm still not a fan of the Fury. Beautiful car. All right, that's got gas in it. Uh, gas oil, oil. Let's see if we can check all these barrels before it gets too dark to see our hand in front of our face. That is one evil mixture. Holy shit. Empty. Oil. There's a mod um, that gives you a device that you can hook the barrels up to that can separate a uh, specific liquid out of um, a mixture like that. It's completely unrealistic as all get out, but it is kind of cool. I just haven't messed with the mods because I don't know how to work the mod loader. And I even kind of like hinted about it in the forum. I'm like, you know, it'd be a whole lot easier if they could just upload this shit to the Nexus and let us use the Vortex Manager. And everyone's like, oh, we don't like the Vortex Manager. I'm like, I've never had a problem with it. 275 Skyrim mods, 180 Fallout mods. Uh, that's just for three. That's not counting all the ones I have for New Vegas and four. I've never had a problem with Vortex. I'd say we have a decent amount of gas. It dawned on me the other day as I was thinking about this game, you know, with uh, you leaving the starting garage and just trying to make it somewhere with a vehicle, your dude is technically homeless. And just has to survive on what he can find just out in the wild. 
looks like the mountains here in Virginia, the Blue Ridge Mountains or the Appalachians. Maybe the road doesn't even go there. I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, don't tell me the damn... I bet you did. No, motor's there. Oh, it was the UFO. Okay. All right, good. So the other day, I had uh, I was in the vehicle, and I had just got done putting everything together. I climbed into it. Where is this? Oh, okay. Um, just hitting the forward button, and all of a sudden, like the car cut off, just like it did now. I was like, what the hell is going on here? And I opened up the, the hatch. I was in the Barkus flatbed, and the motor was missing. This, not that gauge, but this gauge was missing. Um, and then I climbed out, and all four of the tires were gone. And I'm like, what the holy fuck is going on? And apparently that's a common glitch where your stuff... But, I mean, it was there. Like, it looked like the empty hole. But it still said mouse 3 dismount. And when I did like that, real quick, it came back. But I had, in anger, like, reloaded the game. <laughs> Oh, rock. Oh, wait, this backwards. Damn UFO. Yeah, I know. It was really strange. I was like, what the fuck? So I looked it up on the um, on the Reddit, and apparently that is a common glitch where like stuff from your vehicle will just spontaneously vanish. And I'm like, ah, this game. <laughs> you silly. The stream is not going to be anywhere near as long as that three and a half hour one was last night that I recorded. <laughs> I'll probably give this another maybe half an hour or so, and then I'm conking out and going to bed. I'm tired. Oh, shit. Ah. That happens a lot, too, at speed. God, you do not like turns. I think we found a solution. A solution. A tentative solution. You whore. Oh, well. All right, well, we didn't have a gun, so now we do. Oh, shit. All right, remount that. Climb out. Unequip. Climb in. Toss. And reposition. Don't shoot myself in the fucking face. Alright, cool. And now lean. And drop. Ha ha! Can I reach the door? <laughs> there we go. So the one drawback to this big ass truck is you can't reach across it. Oh well. I was going to rip the damn bus motor out and then put it up here on this rack and just carry it with us just in case. I mean, I wouldn't have any spare diesel. I don't know what this road's going to do when we get up to that. I don't know if the road's going to go straight up the mountain or if it's going to like circumvent it. I guess we'll figure it out. It's probably going to be another 150 kilometers away, probably. Maybe 110. Got some time. Oh, you 
poor. Wee! <laughs> Just the logic behind that. I'm in probably a four-ton truck, and that rabbit just fucked my day all up. <laughs> That's great. All right, I need, I want, I want that. Yep. <laughs> Our logic certainly doesn't. There we go. You would have had to have fallen under the seat too, wouldn't you? Oh, is it? There it is. Okay. All right, cool. It actually remounted. I had an accident one time in a different vehicle, and the rear view mirror did that same thing. It fell down, but it would not remount. Like, I would click it. It would go up. Wait a minute. Is this one doing it, too? Where's the fucking mirror? Am I losing my mind, or is the mirror not there? All right, wait a minute. There, that goes there. What the hell is going on with my truck? Did that, did that, did that vanish? Where the fuck is the mirror? All right, wait, I keep hitting the. It's not on the ground. That sun visor's probably lost to the ages. Here, wait, I'm just going to climb in the truck manual here. All right. That's the stick shift. Wait a minute, whoa, wait, wait, it wasn't, okay, so here, all right, so that's what happened. It wasn't the mirror I was putting up there, it was that sun visor. So there's the mirror, and we are short a sun visor. All right, now we're the old Richard Detective Agency here, but I am missing that sun visor. Oh, well, I can live without that. Paco, are you okay with that sun visor being missing? Yeah, he said he's fine. Fucking rabbit. All right. Yeah, it might be in something over here. I'll look at that. At our next stop, I'll do another extensive search. But it probably flew out the window. I think everything else on this truck is physics locked except these three items. Okay, let's get up to about 120 and we'll just cut the motor off. There we go, that'll save some gas. We're nice and flat anyway. I see the light glinting off of another POI up there, unless that's just a uh, port of, what do you call it, an outhouse? I was gonna call it a porter shitter. <laughs> the dev would be smart to add other features like coastline, rivers, bridges, weather. You know, ambience. <sighs> I didn't realize it was just one dude, like, working on this game. Like, that his whole company is just him. But he's done rather well. I don't know what kind of budget he was looking at, but I was looking up um, the hell's that guy's name? Jos Joe Williams? Joseph Williams, the guy who developed Who's Your Daddy? Is a dude in Pennsylvania who wanted to raise 1500 and ended up raising like 2700 or 2600 Made that tiny little game. <laughs> it's, it's remarkably fun to play drunk. <laughs> And then, like, uh, you know, you read a story like that, you know, like, one guy working out of his, his basement creates a game that 
catches on like this this is fairly popular a lot of people were youtubing it and streaming it a couple months ago um or like who's your daddy like a whole bunch of people was like playing and streaming that but then there was another developer god what was that company called that uh they did a crowdfunding because they wanted to make this like mmo rpg that was like fable style and they raised five hundred and sixty three thousand dollars i think it was yeah half a million dollars and they kept promising and promising and they were like oh we promise we're working on it we've released you know well not released anything but they they were like we finished this much of the game and you can do this in the game you can barter with the things in the game blah, blah, blah. they had all these and like every month it was like some kind of new update and then finally you know it was like three months and then every six months and then finally they just said you know what we're not actually working on the game <laughs> and it never came out Ah, square. I like the round ones better. VW Caddy. And Yoink, we're taking that. Oh, I'm missing a bus headlight, too. Shit. That damn rabbit. All right. All right, the reason why we're doing this is the VW Caddy has a unique headlight compared to other vehicles. And that light bar is dirty, so that got swapped. All right, anything fun in the crate? Pine trees. Of course, no purple one. Bastard. Uh, what the hell? This looks shinier than the rest of the building. Huh, weird. Alcohol. RNX. No, but I want that right there. Haha. -ha. Fastest way to find something is to replace it. I will look in here though, just real quick. Oh, I see him. Let's see if I can snipe him from here. <laughs> well, his kneecap ain't feeling too good. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's see if it fell behind the seat somewhere. No. I think it must have fallen out of the window. Unless it is like between these two seats right here. Like right no. No. Alright. Yeah, screw it. It's dirty, but that can be fixed. There. Fine. Done. <laughs> Alright, let's see what other kind of trouble we can get in. Did that really kill him? Sorry. Uh, some diesel. A uh, basket we don't need. A bat, an arm. Nine. Oh, 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 I did learn this the other day. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I gotta do this properly. Alright. So I have 15 rounds here. If I grab it and then hold this, you can actually reload from it. I did not know that until the other day. <laughs> Alright. Get that parkour. Get that parkour. Alright. Anything fun up here? Uh, motor, some type, uh, seat, oh well. Let's just move on, ain't really anything here. I'm not wasting any of that on it. D 
do 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 I'm mad that one of my bus headlights is missing. That's alright. We'll get another one. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck you, rabbit. Out of the road. See the chemtrail in the sky? I'm fully convinced that those are um, caused by UFOs. In one of my earlier videos, um, we were standing at one of the double buildings with the bridge, and uh, I happened to look up in the sky, and way up high in the sky, you could see a UFO. And I was like, whoa, because I'd never seen one anywhere besides 10 feet above the road. I was like, what? And there's a there's a mod that lets you fly the UFO. I could learn how to use that mod loader. I downloaded a Jeep. Uh, what else did I put it on there? I got um, that fluid transfer thing. Um, the vehicle I want. There's a YouTube video if you type in the long drive RV. Um, a guy whose name begins with a C. It is I can't remember his name was showcasing a mod and I'm like where the fuck is the link <laughs> I feel like what good is it showcasing a mod if you don't link it so I was asking them about it in the discord uh, server the one that's advertised at the main menu of the game and they were like oh yeah that's here so I'm like alright so I switch over to that channel of where all the mods are and there's probably like a thousand mods listed in no order whatsoever and my phone doesn't have a search bar, so I can't like search the words RV or anything or the the mod author or anything. So I'm sitting there scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And after about ten minutes of scrolling and not finding it, I just shut it off. I said, "Fuck it. I guess I won't get the RV." I have no patience. <laughs> Because I hate the I hate the uh, camper that th that this game comes with. I hate that giant shiny box, and then it's glitchy as all hell to to boot. It's hard to get anything in there and then keep it staying there. The physics is all wonky. And then if you're driving the camper and you go to hook something up to the back of it, it's it drives squirrely. If you're driving the tanker and then you hook up just the RV trailer, it bogs down the motor and the tanker. Like, I, I don't know how these people can do these giant trains with, like, eight trailers and stuff like that. I'm like, dude. All right, shit. Oh, wow, yeah, we're 140 km. That's really fast. Ah, it's squirrely. It's getting squirrely. Slow it on down. Don't hit the rock. We hit the rock. Ah, uh, what are you... Bridge. Oh, there might be a bus there. Well, we'll just remember that it's there. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go over there and spawn it in. If it is going to be a bus there. And in that way, we know where one is. That way, if we can't pull the hill, we can turn around, snag this motor, go back to that ship that we were at, and then get all the diesel out of it. Always plan ahead. I was watching one guy stream this afternoon from 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 work. You know, I can get on my phone and watch Twitch. 
And these two guys were playing multiplayer mod, and they were... <laughs> it, was, it was comical, but at the same time, it was really hard to watch, because, like, they... They just po- both piled into the starting car. They almost grabbed nothing with them. No bus. And then off they went. And I'm like, bro, you forgot the katana. You forgot the siphon. You forgot the binoculars. You have no spare gas. Your tires look like shit. I, I didn't say that to him, but I'm like, bro, <laughs> you ain't going far. And multiplayer mod looks fun as hell, though. That's another mansion. Damn, this thing can't stop worth a shit. Hmm. I'm debating whether or not I want to go to that mansion or not. You know what? Let's go to the mansion. Alright, so we're on a south, slightly east course. So to get back to the road, we're going to need to travel 33, 34, 35, 35 degrees. Who was it that was suggesting that I play Sailwind? Was that you, Tired Man, or was that Psycho that suggested Sailwind? Or was that somebody else? I looked that up today at work, by the way. I was watching a YouTube video. That's a lot of, like, sailing involved in that. Like, pulling the sheet down. Yeah, or it was Psycho. Pulling the sheet down and making sure that it was tight against the wind and, like, the mooring cleats and... I knew I was going to hit that. Um, God, it looked like a lot to that game. Looked kind of fun, though. I might pick it up. The only thing that game seemed to be missing was um, if you played Sea of Thieves, there's like a, a chart in the map room down below. And then, like, I mean, obviously you, your multiplayer game would have, you know, more than just you playing it. And you would chart your course, and then it's got the compass built into the steering wheel. But Sailwind looked like a little bit more to the navigation on it. And I don't know if you've ever been on an actual sailing ship out in the middle of the water. There's no landmarks. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to be enjoyable or not. Am I on the ass side of the mountain? The mansion? Shit, I gotta go around it. Fuck. Alright. So the road is just follow the back side of the mountain. Or mansion. I keep saying man- mountain. Mansion. Something glitting off the distance. Alright, let's see. I hear the bats. It's not even a good looking car to steal. Pathetic. All right. It's a TV buried in the ground. We don't need it. LJD. Don't care about that. Let's see if this one's got a license plate. Hmm, no license plate. Okay. Any gas? Alcohol. There's hardly ever gas in that barrel. Some purple paint. Some magazines. Porn? New cars of 
Oh, I hate to kill somebody who's happily humming like that. You all right over there, Wheezy Jefferson? Good lord. Gotta get up the stairs. I'm pressing... He needs to work on the stairs, too. So, like, in Minecraft, if you, uh... The st like, the stairs that you build, um... They've got a collision box around it, so it, it's it's technically speaking, it's a ramp, not a, an actual stair. Weird. Yeah, two liters, almost three liters of gas. All right, we'll come back upstairs. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, sack. Well, we're definitely keeping that. I like that. I like that. A sec. In a sec. Uh, let's see. There's one more douchebag. Nope. This house is clear. Ooh, a strut. Let's not have that in our hand. All right, good. Damn, I think shiny as hell. I like that. Eh, hanging bats, don't give a shit about. Yeah, good color blue. I like that navy blue. Some Paco. Red paint. That's again another shade of blue. Some more blue. Nothing. Nothing good. Alright. Come on, stairs. Alright. Let's toss that towards the door, too, because we're taking that with us. And we're taking that with us. And we're taking. I don't think we need that. That's fine. Mm, no more gas. Some piss yellow. There's a poo. There's a piece of poo right here. Give me the poo. There you go. Ooh, saddlebag. I will be taking that. It's a sin. I like that. All right, we're taking this one too. Look, found two good license plates. It's a sin, my darling, how I love you. <laughs> yeah, the Fallout song stuck in my head now. Uh, motorcycle gas tank. That's a TV in there. All right, cool. Uh, let's head back upstairs and see if there's anything up here that, other than that 2.8 liters of gas. Hmm, nothing to throw. I hate doing this. This big old bus, uh, actually, you know what, we're taking that with us. Any gas, any gas, any gas, water. That is a pristine bus radiator. Good shade of purple, some blue. Another motor, uh, bicycle engine. Pistol. This mansion kind of sucks. Besides that, finding that sin license plate, that was that made it all worth it. Compass. 
We already have one. Poo. Anything good over here? No. I call this the Blue Mansion. Well, nothing really good up here. Shiny new mirror. Actually, you know what? We're gonna keep this too, because that's uh, the mirror we have in the truck is that black chrome. What they would, I guess, they would call that molested chrome. And all the rest of the stuff we have on the bus is this color chrome, so we're going to keep this. Only because it's completely shiny and pristine. I don't have to waste any of my own liquids making it not, you know, making it look like that. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. kind of weird if you think about it the bus radiator holds 10 liters of fuel and is ginormous this thing is half that size but this one holds 20 liters of water it's strange Let's get that awesome license plate. Both of them. In a sack. Do we not have the... Hmm. Missing a license plate. Shut up, rabbit. Struggle. Perfect. We can mount the new license plates on that. And now this is always the pain in the ass. Getting these on here perfectly. Alright, so I think it's got to go on origin. Damn strut. See, it's you can't see my feet because I've got, I have my body hidden. Stop, oh, perfect. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be negative. All right. 
just stand upright for fuck's sake. All right, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> oh, you little bastard. All right, when am I going to use this mouse? Closest point. Drop. Pick up again. Rotate. And rotate just a little bit more. No, not that way. <laughs> Boom. Heh, <laughs> there we go. He's on there. Yeet. One more thing, and then we can head on out. I can live with that. You know what? No. Let's shine it up all the way. It's free. There we go. I'm not wasting my own to do this. So. And it's not like I'm getting these from Home Depot. So. Perfect. Aw. Oh, well. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. That wasn't too bad. I got us a cool new license plate. And I got to thinking about it. I'm going to lean that just a little bit. And grab you. Oh, Hen. Okay, there, there was the other license plate. The one I thought we were missing. <laughs> Sweet. Our collection grows. That's better. Oh, I cannot believe I missed that fence. Oh, shit. All right, let's head on that 30... Five degrees, I think I said it was. Right there. Urge me up, up ahead. We're gonna get back to the road, and I'm calling this one a, an episode because I'm 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 tired. <laughs> I'm tired. So hopefully you guys wa enjoyed watching. It's a remarkably boring game, but it is so fun to play it. Thank you. I try to approach this logically. Like, I, I, I'm in it for the long haul. I want to get to that 3,000 marker and see what's up and then turn around and come back home. I have never seen the, the 3,000 kilometer. Actually, I've never seen... I think the furthest I've ever seen somebody on a stream or a YouTube video be at was like the 15 or 1,600. And the furthest I've ever been personally was like 1,462 or something like that. Before I restarted it. Yeah, there's the road. Um... The crazy thing about this game is because it's procedurally generated and everything um, along the road loads in as you're going and then it stays lo loaded in. So if I was to make a right turn and go back to the diner from the start, it would have the same crap in it that was there when it spawned in for me the first time I came through. So the further along you go in the game, the bigger the file gets, the more it has to remember and, and stuff like that. So it's like basically the glitch here becomes... So 
I'm kind of anxious to see how chaotic it's going to be at that 3,000 marker. <laughs> I mean, hell, we were having glitchy issues at the six. What was that? 673? And that big ass whatever it was was trying to spawn in. Haha, -ha, freeway. All right, you guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much for watching. Send a follow if you haven't done so already. And also bear in mind that I'm uploading these all to the YouTube channel. Uh, Toasted Toad Productions is my YouTube channel. And we'll catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.